every month we have several people hire us to represent them who really shouldn't have had to hire a lawyer at all. And the reason they end up hiring us is because they were generally stopped for some offense, usually some minor traffic offense. They had something in a, their car that they shouldn't have. Uh, officer asked for consent to search. They agreed and sure enough, uh, the officer searched the car and found whatever they had and they end up going to jail. Uh, so they basically turned a ticket into a trip to the jail by agreeing or consenting to the search. I think most people know, at least in their head, that you can say no, uh, but it's hard for a lot of people to do, especially when the, the request is being made by an officer. Uh, he's somebody in authority and Maybe more importantly, you think that by saying no, uh, you're going to, to look guilty and they're going to suspect you. The truth is that if they have reasons or grounds to search the car, uh, they don't have to ask for your consent. They can do it anyway. Um, it's usually only in those cases where they don't that, or they're concerned about whether or not the, the consent they have or the evidence they have is enough where they're going to ask for consent. Once you give consent, um, it's basically game over. Um, you can't take it back. Um, you can't tell them to, to search one part and not search another. Um, and you're essentially hostage for as long as it takes them to complete the search. Uh, they have some suspicion that you're engaged in some kind of illegal activity. Uh, you could be there for an extended period of time. So what is the law that authorizes them to, to search a car? Um, and it's generally, the test is that they generally have to have some reason or a legitimate reason to believe that there are narcotics inside or some kind of contraband. And the most common situation that, that we see frequently is um, an officer will testify that he smelled marijuana. Um, it's one of those things that uh, if he says it, you really don't have any way to, to prove that it's true, and that's going to give them grounds to search. Uh, the other reason, or one of the other basis, is if you get arrested, um, then they have the right to search the car, and that's primarily for the purpose of ensuring that uh, any evidence or whatever you have in the car is taken care of and, and accounted for because they're going to have to tow away the car. Uh, but if they have grounds to search the car, then they don't need to ask you for consent. Uh, if they do it anyway and they don't have grounds, then you've got a at least a fighting chance in court to prove that the evidence should be thrown out so you may be uh, able to win your case that way. Uh, so think twice. Um, just remember that you've got the right to say no. Um, if you do that more often or if more people do that, we would have less work and less business to do, which is fine by me. Uh, if you didn't follow this advice, if you were hearing this too late um, and you think we can help, please give us a call and we'll be happy to, to see if your case is one that we might be able to help you with.